So Home is the only DreamWorks animated feature to come out in 2015. This could either be good or not so good. Where does Home stand in my opinion? Let's find out. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the DreamWorks animated feature Home. So, Home has the voice talents of Jim Parsons, Rihanna, Steve Martin, and Jennifer Lopez. And this movie is about this alien named O, who is known as a boob. That's the name of the aliens, they're called the boobs. And the head leader of all of them is Captain Smek, voiced by Steve Martin. O is an alien that no one really likes. He gets on a lot of people's nerves and he really, he just isn't a well-liked alien and no one cares to really be his friends. So when O tries to throw a party, he sends the invitations to everyone, including their enemy, the Gorg Commander. So that means everyone is in trouble uh, thanks to O, and now O is on the run from his kind. While on the run, O meets Tip, who is this young girl that's pretty much alone with her cat, and she's on the quest to go look for her mother, voiced by Jennifer Lopez. So along the way, Tip and O form Form a friendship and O goes out and helps Tip find her mother while O is taking care of, you know, his own situation. So going into home, as much as I really love DreamWorks Animation Studios and they've been really knocking it out of the park with their movies lately, I really was not looking forward to home, but I was just hoping it would surprise me. Home, honestly, it wasn't that good. But there are some positives to home, so let me go ahead and talk about that. The first positive is definitely that the animation looks really good. And this is a DreamWorks animated feature, so it's no surprise that at this point, the animation just really colorful. It looks very vibrant and vivid. I just really loved how the animation would flow in this overall environment. I also do like the character designs on the aliens. I thought their features were interesting. The thing I really thought was so cool about this movie is how the aliens change colors when they feel a certain emotion. For example, if you are lying, the alien is going to turn green. If obviously you're angry, the alien, uh, or should I say the boob, is going to turn red. There are some heartwarming moments into this movie, mainly when it comes to Tip and O's relationship. As the relationship is growing, you could tell that they do care for each other. I did think Steve Martin fit the role of Captain Smekwell. You could tell when he's voicing that he is so energetic with the character. It's He sounds nothing like Steve Martin. I thought Home had a very wonderful score going for it. Whenever it's just an original soundtrack, just for this movie particularly, it just sounds really good. And the last thing I do have to give huge credit to Home for is the way it expressed its messages about how nobody is perfect, everyone is gonna make their mistakes, and how the mistakes that you make make are going to help you grow as a human being. And I respect this film for going through a message like that because it's true. We're all humans. Nobody's perfect. We try not to make mistakes, but you know, that's not how life works. We're all going to make our mistakes. Home, I thought, succeeded in terms of telling its message. But unfortunately, even with all of these positives for Home, I did have a lot of problems with this movie. Now the first problem, like I said, when you he would hear the original soundtrack, it sounded so good. But whenever the movie played a song by Rihanna, it just doesn't mesh. And it was so annoying. And I don't like Rihanna, but I promise I'm not just saying that because I'm not a fan of Rihanna at all. The music just didn't fit well. And obviously her music is playing in some scenes of the movie just because Rihanna herself voices the character Tip. The supporting roles fit well with their voices, but I gotta say, the main characters, O voiced by Jim Parsons and Tip voiced by Rihanna, both of these people were completely miscasted, especially Rihanna. Rihanna's voice does not fit well at 
all with Tip. In fact, the whole entire time I watched this movie, all I saw was Rihanna voicing through a studio. And the same could go for Jim Parsons. But at least in some smidge of spots, I felt like Jim Parsons did work. But even for the most part, I felt like his voice wasn't really the right fit for the character O. And you could say... He is basically Sheldon Cooper in animated form, except in my opinion, twice as more annoying. And that's where I get to my next problem with Home. The character O is so extremely annoying. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can see why no one likes you now. Because you're just so annoying. Although how O did get the name O, it was really funny because every time he would wave hi to everyone, everyone's all like, oh, oh, oh. That was actually pretty funny right there, you know. And there's a little bit of humor here and there that did make me laugh, but for the most part, I did feel like a lot of the humor in Home just really fell flat. It was very cringeworthy. It was very awkward. Some of the writing in the movie does get clunky with its inconsistencies in terms of the overall storyline with the boobs. The pacing just felt very rushed and very uneven pretty much throughout the whole movie. It's all like boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's like DreamWorks was in such a rush through this movie. They're all like, oh my gosh, you guys, we gotta hurry up and finish home. Finish it. I don't care. I don't care if it feels rushed. We have to get this movie out. We just have to. Ah, hurry up. Hurry up. I swear. Ah. As much as I did really like Steve Martin as the voice for Captain Smack, I thought the character Captain Smack, he really did get on my nerves. He's nowhere near as annoying as O, but he still did get on my nerves. O and Tip's little friendship with each other, I thought it started off very unbelievable. It could have started off more smoothly, I should say. And the movie is very predictable. It's a shame that DreamWorks didn't even try hard enough. I mean, I actually felt effort in the Penguins of Madagascar. I was extremely disappointed with that movie, but at least with that movie, I did feel effort. I'm gonna give home two out of four stars. <sighs> Man, talk about a real bummer. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Home. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!